Okay, this is on the Peterson job, number 53279. What we're doing is uh, we're re replacing this furnace, the coil, and the air conditioner. So this return air here is going to be abandoned. They're going to patch it. We're going to cut in a 14 by 30 high. So to do that, so our new furnace will sit in the drain pan. Drain pan will sit all the way against the ground and all the way over to right here. Okay, I have a 10 inch piece of duct, a seven inch filter box, and then your furnace. Um, so duct just as it shows, and 14 by 30 flat grill. I gave you some duckboard headers, and just cut that in and to the return air, make this U-shaped duct. Okay, that duct just as it shows, cut line right there. Um, so this gas line is in our way. So I cut out the floor here to make sure we can do it, but um, I'm gonna cut out the floor more. There's a joist right here. Um, so cut out the floor as much as you can and then take this gas line out and drill through. We're gonna put a three quarter inch close nipple with a three quarter by half 90 and then a drill through the joist with and with a 14 inch and that should get us past our drain pan and then a 90 up with a Forget the length, but a long nipple to a gas cock and your flex and your T will go off your 12 from the furnace and your T and the flex to connect them. Um, and your drain pan will cover this hole that you know that you have to cut. Okay. Um, all right, so combustion air, it's right here, but you're gonna get rid of it. Remove it all the way into the attic. Um, our vent, we're gonna run two inch PVC. So remove this four inch B vent up to the piece that goes through the roof. And you're gonna run a two inch concentric through the roof through the existing roof jack. Um, and I would just use, you know, run it through this pipe and then put a, you know, your thingy on top, your... Um, anyway. Okay. Um, I'll go over the AC in a minute. The drain, the floor drain. So just cut out the floor and put a drain that way back into the floor drain. But you will have a drain overflow for the coil. Also a drain pan overflow for the drain pan. Um, thermostat, it's right there. It's gonna get an S30 thermostat. So, I told you about the return air. Um, the furnace power, just gonna reuse the box, put a new switch and cover on it, and your normal flex. Okay, so, um, the AC. So our existing line set is only five eighths. Our new air conditioner is seven eighths. So this will not work. Um, so we're going to have to run a new line set and also we're going to have to relocate the air conditioner. I'm going to show you that. But right in this room right here, this is the AC breaker. It's now a 30 amp home line. We need to change it to a 15 amp home line. And we need to run new power 
Probably. I will call the electrician on this. I will talk to him. But we need to run new power up with our line set and out. Um, unless we can do it the other way, which I'll show you that in a minute. But our new line set, let me go outside and we'll go over that. Well, while I'm talking about the power, so they do have the main power right here. Um, and they've already tapped off of it once. And ideally, it would be nice to tap off on it and put another disconnect right here. Because we're going to move the air conditioner where this tree is. The existing air conditioner is right here. But we're putting in a giant air conditioner and we don't have room. And here's the existing power, but the homeowner doesn't want to run conduit, obviously, up and over. So we're going to install the new air conditioner on a big pad where this tree is. I told her that she was in charge of removing this tree. But our line set will go up into the attic over come out of the eave and um i told her we'd order line hide and run line hide down and we only have four inches here so um i don't know how long line height is how wide it is but we might have to adapt to go around this roof <laughs> with the line height, I don't know. But come down with the line set right here and then kind of just jog over down and install the air conditioner right here. So, okay. So I'll tell Jason to order you some line hide and you're gonna need at least 50 feet of Three eight seven eight line set, and maybe even a little bit more. So I'll tell them to order you a 50 footer and a 20 footer. Whether you'll need that much, I don't know, but you'll probably need a little more than 50. Okay, um, so this electric wall box will just seal, it'll just be abandoned. Um, And that's about it.